An Israeli teacher is charged with treason for sharing stories about Palestinians on the internet. How can people claim that the Israeli government is not a fascist government when they're charging people with treason just for speaking about the plight of innocent Palestinians being killed or injured? Her, Rania Abu Anza from Rafa, she couldn't have children. So she were, for 11 years, she were in, in medical treatment, trying to get pregnant. Last year, she got pregnant and she gave birth to twins, Wesam and Naim. They don't exist anymore. For most Israelis, yeah, they don't exist anymore because the Israeli government murdered them. The Palestinians are nothing more than vague image. They have no name, no face, no family, no hope, no plans, nothing. So this is how the Nazis viewed uh, Jewish people. Just faceless, name it, nameless beings that deserved nothing from existence. So I want to humanize them in my Facebook page. The municipality didn't like it. So I was called for a hearing on October 18th, and the next day I was fired. But on October 24th, the Ministry of Education suspended my license, so I couldn't go back and teach anywhere in the country. On November... Wow, his license was suspended because he wanted to show other people that Palestinians were people. On 9th, I received a phone call from the Jerusalem Police Department asking me to come over for an interrogation. So, they decided to interrogate me on two other charges. One, intention to commit an act of treason against the State of Israel. Two, intention to, to disrupt public order. They... Wow! Being charged with treason for trying to show people that Palestinians are people. Saying that is not what a democratic nation does. That is something a fascist government does. And that is, it's just insane how people want to still pretend that the Israeli government is a government about freedom and democracy. He searched for... Uh sedition and incitement material. Obviously, they didn't find anything. Then they took me back to the police station for first interrogation that lasted four hours. They asked me, what did you mean? What was your goal? What, what do you think someone who read your post will understand? I was categorized high-risk detainee, like heavy terrorists. They put me in solitary confinement. I, I... Wow, they put him in solitary confinement and treated him like a terrorist just for wanting to treat walked in with my clothes and i stayed with the same clothes for four days the next day i was released and then i began my court motion at the uh, uh, district labor court against the municipality of petah tikva and the ministry of education on January 14th, I won the court case and got a, a temporary injunction that ordered my reinstatement. Wow. Wow. 